Hi, every Hi everybody. This is Katie from Birchbox. Thank you for joining today for our live Google Hangout. I'm here with Holly Thaggard, Hi. the founder of Super Google. Thank you for joining us today, Holly. Excited. Um, we're also very excited today at Birchbox because this live hangout is going to be shoppable. So all of the product uh, that Holly is using today will be shoppable on the right hand side of your screen. And you can um, even, we're going to have a code, during, you can receive 50 Supergoop products on Birchbox.com. It's going to be Supergoop15. Exciting. I'm going to use it as soon as we leave this hangout, and it's good till midnight tonight. Um, and then, so last week, we invited a bunch of our Birch bloggers to tweet questions for um, and then we chose three questions, sent those bloggers a bunch of super we have here invited, um, and they are going to join us and ask us their questions live today at the Google Hangout. I wanted to ask Holly some questions. Um, Holly, I know that you had a background in education. And I want to get an idea of like why you started Supergroup and what your commitment to education was. Yeah, well, a good friend of mine had skin cancer, and so that was really the inspiration for the company. Mm -hmm. um, my background is in education, and so I've immediately I felt, you know, thought back about how many how many hours children are on the playground at school outside unprotected. And, you know, I felt like there was a really a niche for um, a very playful, fun, spirited brand. Mm -hmm. Delivered, you know, highly efficacious UV protection in formulas that felt great on the skin to apply. Because Absolutely. really, you know, if you don't want to apply it, you're not going to. And mm -hmm. so we can't um, reduce and then also um, epidemic. So we really work hard in um, to, to our fans, uh, formulas that just feel amazing and have so many poured into that we touch on soon. Absolutely, the um, Super Group skincare is really smooth and soft, and it doesn't really thick sunscreen feel, um, which I absolutely love using the eye cream for I'm now and the sun as well. I just use it a couple of days. Absolutely, I'm obsessed. So. Um, I think continuing that education is really great. Um, my next question is, this month our theme was go, um, and then we also had a insert, it's actually right here, that many of you received birch boxes last month, a sun savvy insert, and it's going to be going on until July, and that was um, an insert where if you take a picture on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag, then you could receive a our gift from Supergoop each. Well, very exciting! Very I exciting. You know, I'm kind of sad I didn't win yet, but um, I'll get <laughs> over trying. it. And so I wanted to ask you, what are your three for um, you know to say sun savvy over the summer? You know, for <laughs> that we so often forget to do. We have to prepare. It how carefully and meticulously you plan out what you're going to eat. Right. Absolutely. And so if you plan and and then you know for your day and week as to where you're going to get it, so that you don't get on the the less likely you're going to be take. Be really just with your eyes. Like in real to do. Um, I'm gonna take that moisturize that multi functional skin care products spectrum built in so that that UV protection mm -hmm. so where what this with um, 
and glowing and so yes I think um, <laughs> I know I love the hand cream but that's um, with all of our products you know I think the best time to start is right out of the shower in the morning and get that good foundation on your body and mm -hmm. your skin um, of protection okay great um, on that same um, vein, I guess, what would you say are the biggest misconceptions about sunscreen? So I think that the biggest, the biggest misconception is that sunscreens feel horrible and that you are going to want to take a shower and, and mm -hmm. get, take it off. And, you know, sunscreens have come a long way. The technology that we use today is nothing like when we were a child mm -hmm. or when I was a child. And sunscreens truly didn't feel great on the skin and that's you know with our product line we are really we think of ourselves as skin care for daytime and if it is caring for your skin during the day during then it must have you know that foundation and broad spectrum UVA UVB mm -hmm. and then also um, the infrared rays are important and we can talk about the heat rays from the sun and why that's so important what you can protect from those IRA rays mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. It's not the same um, sunscreen as when we use what I use. It's super smooth, thin, and and I just love. It. We did a consumer perception test with our city sunscreen serum, and after four weeks of applying it every single day, 98% of the people were shocked. I think we use the word shocked. Mm -hmm. There was any sun protection in the formula at all. Mm -hmm. So. Four weeks, but you know, we had a, a group of 30 people applying, and they couldn't believe that there was SPF. That's amazing. That's awesome. It really shows, you know, the great value, and the product is just awesome. Um, and then, is we are super excited here at Birchbox for the partnership with Maria Shapova. She is a co-owner now. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that happened? And yes, and she's. A it's at Wimbledon today, oh, so yeah, yeah. a lot happening today all at this time. But uh, she has been a fan of Super Goop and has been wearing our products um, for okay. the last several years. Mm -hmm. And so it was a real authentic partnership. Her agent contacted us and said that she was very interested. She's a very entrepreneurial 27-year-old, um, and she has spent the better part of the last couple of decades of her life in the sun um, in right. Florida, training four to six and when you think about that, you know, her skin sh really shouldn't look as great as it does, but it does because she's been wearing Super Goop, and she wanted to get involved, and why I guess that was so interesting to us is, um, you know, we were looking for that megaphone, and that's sort of how we see her, her reach mm -hmm. large, and she feels very passionate about um, how important it is to incorporate UV protection into your every. Mm -hmm. And so it was a real natural fit, and she's yeah. really neat, very smart, um, very savvy um, young lady. And yeah. So we're excited to to bring her on as not um, just to, um, as having invested in the brand and now being my co-owner, but also to really be that voice for how important this is to um, such a big demographic. Mm -hmm. Do you know what her favorite product is? Uh, the oil right now, every picture that she sends from uh, from Europe right now it seems to include the oil. But okay. I think that um, the City Serum is the one she wears mm -hmm. when she's not playing tennis. And then I know um, on the days that she is sweating and, and on the courts, she uses the everyday um, SPF 50. Okay. Uh, it's a real lightweight, water resistant product. So yeah. she doesn't wear makeup when she's on the court. So that, that's the first step that she goes, her, her go to. Cool. All right. I'm going to have to try the oil. Yeah. All right, awesome. So thank you, Holly, for answering my questions. Sure. Um, next, we're going to go to our bloggers who are live hanging out with us here. The first one is Lauren. And Lauren is from Maine, and she has a YouTube channel about beauty and food and fashion. Um, Lauren, it's so nice to meet you. Do you want to go ahead and ask your question? Sure. It's nice to meet you guys, too. Um, I, as you said, I'm a beauty blogger, and I don't necessarily leave the house without makeup on. So I need to know what is going to be the best sunscreen for underneath makeup. Okay, so I have three go-tos that I really um, couldn't start my day without. And one is the, our eye cream. Um, our 
have an eye cream and, and I think that you often first see the signs of aging around the eye area so it's so important that your eye cream incorporate a high broad spectrum protection. This is where we see aging and we know that 90 percent of the signs of aging um, are due to exposure to the sun. So I think a combination, um, Lauren, of the eye cream and then the City Sunscreen Serum which protects also from the pollution and the, um, the environment while it's hydrating a great primer. Mm -hmm. Men and Absolutely. women love it. Um, and then I'd say don't forget the lips and hands because I, you know the lip balms, the lips are also one of the first places we start to see signs of aging but also people feel like their lipstick is somehow protecting their skin and that skin is very delicate around the lip area. And so what I love about our, um, our Mint Fusion and our Acai Fusion SPF 30 mm -hmm. lip balms is that it can be applied underneath the lipstick on top as adding a little gloss. So um, it, you know, it works, it's highly effective whether it goes beneath your, your lip color and it mm -hmm. sort of provides um, sort of a lip lock, if you will, mm -hmm. um, to protect that delicate skin. Good question, Lauren. Those are my go-tos. Thank you. Lauren, did you have any other questions for Holly? Um, my only other question is in regards to sensitive skin. I have incredibly sensitive skin and um, I was just wondering, are there any ingredients you recommend us staying away from? Absolutely. Um, I would first turn the uh, deck labels can be <laughs> incredibly um, overwhelming if you're not a chemist. Um, but if you can first scan to the bottom of the list and look to make sure that there are no parabens, methyl paraben, propyl paraben, these can be very um, unskin compatible if that um, makes sense. It, um, they definitely look for in the top of the list of the ingredient label you want to avoid oxybenzone and it's not only a possible carcinogen but it also can be very irritating and most drugstore sunscreens contain a pretty high percentage of oxybenzone so um, if you're finding that your skin is not um, compatible as you would hope it to be for a sun care product make sure that you've you know also avoided chemical fragrances I think this can be irritating and many people don't realize chemical, when you use the word fragrance on an ingredient deck, it's just a combination of whatever the manufacturer wants to put in there but not name. Clump it into the word fragrance and so, um, you know, we really rely on the natural essential oils for any type of scent that comes from our products. And uh, so just, I think those would be my top three no's to look for, chemical fragrance of any kind and and the active ingredient oxybenzone. Yeah, I mean personally I have very sensitive skin and all these products work for me. I've never had a problem. I absolutely love the eye cream. I use it every day. So Yeah, and they're non commodogenic which makes them very skin compatible with even the most sensitive of skin. My daughter's nine and she has extremely sensitive skin and she's very vulnerable to mosquitoes, especially in the summer and um, you know she does really our line because it's often what you know you you leave out of the formulas exactly um, that can sometimes be irritating. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. Yeah. All right. Blogger is Betty from Washington D.C. and her blog is Hungry Triathlete. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yes. Thanks for joining. What's your question? I think we, I think Betty's on mute. Let's try it again. No, can't, still can't hear you. Want to try again? And then we'll get back to you. Come okay, back yeah. in a minute. Betty, we'll come back to you. Um, let's go to Denise. How about that? Hi, Denise. Hi. Hi, Denise is from New Jersey, and she has a blog called Savings with Denise. Denise, thanks for joining. What's your question for Holly? Hi, Holly. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining us. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, my question is, um, when you go from season to season uh, and our skin changes, 
do you change your skin routine and what, what would you recommend us add or add or take away during those different seasons like in winter when your skin gets when the weather is colder and summer when it's hotter what would you recommend us doing to take care of our skin better during those change of seasons yep so that's a great question and definitely during you see um, a little less hydration um, your skin gets a little drier um, and so I would really look for for multifunctional products, you know, one of my favorite since we started with the winter, one of my favorites is our Forever Young Hand Cream. Mm. Um, this product is new this year, and it comes in this very generous 10 ounce size. Um, but it's not just delivering the SPF that we mentioned earlier. How your hands, you also start to see the signs of aging. But it's not only um, protecting from uh, the UV damage that we get um, from exposure through even the glass windows or through your car and everything, but see buckthorn, mm -hmm. which goes to work on the um, age spots that you might start Absolutely. to see, but also the hydration and the um, we really in the winter have to replenish the skin more um, more frequently, mm -hmm. I think, than in the summertime. Um, so I think in the summer, you, you know, we tend to pick up products that are a little water resistant. So with our product line, um, you know, our everyday formula, you'll see you have the little word play incorporated right, let me try to get it a little closer, right into the logo. And any words, any of our products that say play mean that they're really highly water resistant. And I think in the summer months we end up doing a little more outdoors and end up, um, you know, doing some outside activity. Mm -hmm. We might be swimming or sweating and that water resistance is really key. Um, I think, of course, every single day, and this is, um, you know, going to, I, I, I probably can't not say that no matter the season, you have to start your day covering your body with a broad spectrum protection. In fact, I was just talking to one of the other girls here mm -hmm. um, about how, um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't wear your fancy new, very expensive, favorite new dress out in the rain. And we need to really think about our skin this way. And our skin is our fanciest, most valuable mm -hmm. organ in our body um, that covers the most um, space. And so we really need to think about it in terms of what the elements bring on when you step outside. And so the easiest way to do this is, you know, this everyday weight. It's very fluid-like. Mm -hmm. It's very liquid. And right out of the shower, even before you step out of the shower, you can give your whole entire body. And that way, no matter what activity you end up doing that day, um, your skin can be protected and look and feel hydrated and, and um, the moisture can be replenished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. and, and, and like I said, too, that those areas that are aging, no matter the season, and I think that's another good misconception, mm -hmm. that, you know, there are different that different rays are stronger. Mm -hmm. But the UVA aging rays are present year round all four seasons. They will never give you a tan. They will never change your skin. And they're aging and skin cancer causing. And so the UVA rays we have to protect just as much mm -hmm. from in the month of you know January as we I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. And the UVA rays penetrate deeper than the UVB burning. Oh wow. And so the UVB burning rays um, are what change the color of your skin mm -hmm. and that's how you protect from the SPF and then the UVA and then the IRA and the interesting part of this is you know like I said earlier 90 percent of the sign of aging mm -hmm. too are caused by exposure to the sun mm -hmm. so no matter the season and no matter the age I think you know we're also asked often as I get older do I change the products um, and I think definitely as you get into your 30s and 40s your skin becomes a little drier mm -hmm. Um, and in your 30s, in fact, um, hormonal changes. A lot of babies in their 30s, and they'll see discoloration. Oh, yeah. Right. So there are different products. I think you can address for different time periods in your life, in particular, but not really relevant as much to the season. Um, you know, one thing I love about um, our CC cream mm -hmm. is in your 30s, those hormonal changes are giving you uneven skin tone, um, and we shades to our CC cream. Um, I know it's a hot, I think why why this product is so crazy popular is because you're immediately getting a more flawless finish so Absolutely. that you feel confident and you can feel ready for the day. But over time, the omegas in this formula are reducing the inflammation that's causing the uneven skin tone oh, in the first place. Okay. So you're actually seeing and immediately seeing benefits. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I love that product. I've been using it as long as I've been working at Birchbox. So I'm obsessed. Awesome. 
Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Should we go back to Betty? Betty, you want to give it a try? We can try. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yay. <laughs> All right, Betty, what's your question? Okay, well, I'm a skin cancer survivor, so I'm pretty diligent about SPF, but I always seem to miss a spot. So what are your strategies for avoiding that? Oh, I have some because kiddos miss spots, too. And so, um, you know, I think for your body it's a little different. Oh, we're back. We're back. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Great. So for your body, you want to apply the lotion very generously so that you see white lotion all over your body and then rub it in until you don't see it any longer. Um, it can happen really quick and as long as the formula feels good, you have no problem. And I think that's the easiest way is to start for your body with an everyday all over lotion that can be applied and then rubbed in until it disappears. For the face, one of my new favorites, and I think it's it's live on Birchbox now, but um, the new Perfection Correction. Complexion um, Perfection. Complexion Perfection. I know, it's Sorry. a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister, but it has all of my favorites in it, and it's a great, great combination of products to help you avoid missing any spots on your face. Um, first, the City Sunscreen Serum, and this little guy is the one that I was talking about. We did the perception test where nobody could believe that it had SPF in it. All great for all skin types, all colors, really lightweight, it's a nice primer. And then also in the kit, um, so, so with that you're applying really generously and you're getting from the neck, the decollete, and the face all the protection that you need. And then share the CC cream. Mm -hmm. And in this little kit comes one of my favorite little tools to apply um, is the Beauty Blender. And you can really use the different sides of the blender mm -hmm. for those smaller spots that are sometimes hard to reach. Um, my kiddos never forget their ears because they put the their, they put they use it for their sunscreen. They don't use CC cream. Yeah. They put their sunscreen on the tip of it, and then they use it to get that. all these little spots around your ear area and make sure that it's covered. And then, of course, I use the Beauty Cream, and uh, and it blends as I kind of roll off my, my face. I love it. And uh, it's a great little mm -hmm. kit that also, it looks like, comes with the little cleanser so that you can keep your Beauty Blender looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. And your face. And your complexion. And it's available Perfect. on Birch.com right now, and it's also in the shoppable sidebar. So definitely use that 15%. Well, thanks, Betty. Did you have any other questions? No, thanks for what you do. I love the City Serum. I've been using it ever since I tried it in my birch box. Thank you so much, and for your help in spreading the message about how important this step is in your routine. Thank you, ladies. Okay, now we're going to ask some questions that came in through Twitter. Okay. All right. So let's see. The first is from at Angie underscore LK, who asked, do you advise changing your routine as you age? Oh, we talked about that. We talked about that. And you know, I think with in your 20s, the um, most important thing is, and we didn't, we started kind of in your 30s, 40s, mm -hmm. but in your 20s, the most important thing is to make that habit. Make it a healthy Absolutely. habit. Make that commitment to use sun protection in your skincare every single day. Get in the habit, get in the routine. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, the most important thing you want to do is protect the beautiful skin that you have while you're in your 20s. And then I think, like I mentioned, in your 30s, mm -hmm. you start to deal with some more hormonal. You might see some melasma, some discoloration if okay. you're having babies mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing. Do require something like our CC cream because it can even out the skin tone really mm -hmm. quickly. The omegas can work to treat the skin. Um, the mineral illuminates the skin. It's mm -hmm. just a beautiful or a foundation mm -hmm. that, that delivers protection. And then as you get older, um, I think the biggest concern is kind of dry or crepey skin, and you really want to look for um, hydration. I think our City Sunscreen Serum um, is one of is one of a favorite amongst all ages mm -hmm. because it's so lightweight. Um, but the Hydra Votin 24, which is a complex that has clinicals to show increased moisture and hydration in um, in four weeks. Um, over a 24-hour period, oh, wow. so it's really going to deliver that nice hy um, hydration that mm -hmm. you need to sort of plump the skin out because Absolutely. hydrated skin is more youthful skin. Mm -hmm. It's more beautiful. 
um, luxurious looking skin. Mm -hmm. So cool. Well, I know that um, every time I use the CC cream, it gives me like a glow. And I'm That's like, where the, did that come from? I don't think it was my moisturizer, and it. Now I know. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Angie underscore LK. The next uh, Twitter question we have is at Stacy Soler. Any advice on protecting your hair from the sun? Uh, absolutely. When you can keep a hat handy, there's no better protection for your scalp and for your hair. Um, I think hats are so fashionable right now. There's so many great hats yeah, that you know invest, hat. and this goes back to planning. You know, so much of the sun damage is done when you're not prepared. Mm -hmm. And so when you you know when you're out and about, pick up a few hats, keep them handy with your in your bag, and you never know how handy that will come in. You know, there's also a product I got in my birch box mm -hmm. not too long ago um, called It's a Ten. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And what I love about it is that it really detangles the hair. Mm -hmm. Then it also has this heat activated. I was reading about um, this kind of heat shield that it provides so that okay. it keeps your hair from drying out or mm -hmm. frizzing out. So um, you, my hair gets really tangly. So does me too. So does the, you know, that detangler. But then if you can also protect from you know the heat mm -hmm. um, and what it does to the hair, you know all the better. But definitely mm -hmm. keep a hat handy too. Yeah, I just bought a hat and I'm really excited to wear it to the beach. Okay, cool. On to our next question, we have at underscore Rachel twelve fourteen. She said, I got a wicked sunburn this weekend. Any post-burn products you recommend? I'm um, sorry to hear. So <laughs> I have to say, you know, take two Advil and <laughs> don't let it happen again. Make that decision Get into the habit of protecting yourself before you ever leave the house. We're talking like right in that morning routine, in that window when you get out of the shower. And uh, it's just so make the decision to not let that happen to your skin again. Um, there's, it's you know, it's much more difficult to repair damaged skin than it is to mm -hmm. um, than it is to prevent mm -hmm. the Absolutely. damage from happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And then we have at Pammy Blog Beauty. She asks, how soon before sun exposure do you need to apply sunscreen? Does it need time to sink in? Yeah, so that's a great question, and it really depends. If your product is mineral based or chemical based. Um, so mineral based sunscreens can um, go to work immediately. They actually sit on top of the skin and the sun comes and back off of them. It, like I said, goes to work immediately upon application. The minerals that you would look for to determine if your product's mineral are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, they're often very good for sensitive skin, uh, or, um, but they do sometimes trap heat, so they're not the best when you're out and about and doing running or tennis or mm -hmm. sports. So that brings you to the chemical sunscreens, mm -hmm. which what you want to look for is uh, two ingredients, avabenzone and octocrylene. Okay. Um, and but, uh, when you see the combination of avabenzone and octocrylene, you know that you need oh, about 20 minutes for that product to absorb into the skin, mm -hmm. which is often what people love about it because mm -hmm. it disappears. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't leave any white cast it's or anything. Super fast. Um, but you want to allow about 20 minutes to apply. And I say during that 20 minutes, and this may be a little excessive, but it doesn't hurt to put a second coat on as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not hard. The formula feels so amazing on the skin, and it's really lightweight. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, I actually have a question myself. When okay. you reapply the same amount on that you put on the first time, and more. <laughs> and more. Okay, so we'll add it on, add it on. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, and the, again, it goes back to finding that formula that feels just serious on the skin. Mm -hmm. And that's why we work so hard in the lab to bring products to the market that you would have a very difficult time um, just it had sun protection in it or not. Mm -hmm. um, because then you're able to apply it generously and right. reapply it mm -hmm. um, frequently. Okay, great. Awesome, let's see. Okay, let's see if we have some live questions Great. here. All right, hold on one second. Are people using their codes? I hope so. Okay. I think we might have covered this, but let's see. What would you suggest for dry skin? City Sunscreen Serum. Again, this one, um, and this is the little one that comes in the kit that mm -hmm. you have. Um, exactly. So 
tell you, which um, the HydroVote in 24, I think I mentioned clinicals to show increased hydration for up to 24 hours. If you need water resistance, the everyday sunscreen, and it comes in either an SPF 30 or an SPF 50, you can pick, um, provides excellent two-in-one hydration and protection. Okay. Both of those are excellent. And then I would just, you know, add don't forget the lips because the lips really quickly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I always have a problem with that. And I think as you go and, um, you know, you really start to see signs of aging around the lip area. It's just as important to protect around the lips as it is around the eye area. Okay, cool. Let's see. What else do we got here? We have another one. Oh, do you guys carry a matte BB cream with SPF? Our CC cream, no. So we don't carry, the difference our in our, yeah, our CC cream though, and how it differs, because I know it can be so confusing. There's so many alphabet creams mm -hmm. on the market. It's like there's <laughs> BBs and CCs. Um, the formulating with antioxidants in our SPF products really clearly puts us in the color correct category because mm -hmm. we're color correcting instantly and we're color correcting over time by reducing the inflammation that causes the um, uneven skin tone. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like our formula is pretty matte. It's not, yeah. um, it's not a shiny product, but it does give a little bit of a luminous look to the skin. Which shade? Uh, light to medium. Yeah, light to medium. Yeah. I don't know if this shows pretty... too well on the camera, but um, oh, I oh feel gosh, like, let's it. see if we can see. Uh. Yeah, it's <laughs> it not... just gives you a nice yeah. little um, evened out skin, mm -hmm. self-adjusting, so you don't have to find the perfect shade. Yeah, absolutely. And this comes in light, medium, medium to Dark. And then we just introduced the Fair oh, to Light, light. which That's Birchbox right. actually carried yes. it with us. And we had lots of you guys on board to mm -hmm. um, really help us make sure that that shade was the perfect um, tint for that, that color. Absolutely. And the Complexion Perfection Kit comes in all three shades, so very exciting. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. When wearing makeup, should I apply primer before or after applying SPF? Well, so our SPF, so the serum, acts as a primer. Mm -hmm. So it, it's oh, your okay. hydrator, hydration, it's your primer, it's your protection, mm -hmm. all in one. Mm -hmm. um, you are applying um, our everyday, see, you know, I really, I, I lean towards more the question of it, do you need water resistance or do you not need water okay. resistance? So on the days that you do, the everyday is perfect. On the days you don't, the City Serum is perfect. And they both stand up alone beautifully on the skin and work well with any foundation or tinted moisturizer or BB mm -hmm. or CC cream mm -hmm. um, after application. Okay, great. Um, what else? Oh, can I, t can I still get a tan while wearing F SPF? Hopefully not. Um, <laughs> can't, uh, any change in the color of your skin is sun damage, and that's just the short okay. of it. Um, if you see a change in the color of your skin, you have damaged your skin. It's your skin reacting to the sun, and we really want to avoid that. Now, I think when you go lower than an SPF 30, there is a good chance that you are going to see um, some change in the color of your skin to the fact that most people don't apply as generously as they mm -hmm. should and if they apply a you know an SPF 15 and, and, and they do it sparingly you get a SPF 7 so you start to see more of a tan. Um, we don't recommend it. Your skin's beautiful, healthy, keep mm -hmm. it that way. Okay and I actually have another personal question. Sorry. Yeah, um, what it. is the explain a little bit more about the different levels of, um, you know, 30, 50, 70, 100, like right. the different levels of the SPF. Sure. So our sweet spot is between an SPF 30 and a 50. You're getting seven and a half rough percent protection from an SPF 30, and it jumps a half percent when you get to an SPF 50. Um, over a 50 is excessive, it's not okay. needed, and the actives that it takes to test an SPF higher than a 50 can often be irritating to the skin and cause a breakout. So we really say find that product that's right for you somewhere between SPF 30 and an SPF 50. Okay. 
And, uh, you know, it really relates to how much time you can spend in the sun without burning. Mm -hmm. um, because the SPF number is a reference to the UVB burning rate. So uh, find that product in that range um, to, say, an SPF 50. It doesn't necessarily mean, though, that you can stay out in the sun for longer than you can the 30 SPFs. And this is really key needs to be reapplied within two hours when you're in direct okay. sun or when you're swimming within 80 minutes so um, really about an hour and a half is all you get when you're swimming mm -hmm. um, but you know that's when you're out in direct sun mm -hmm. constantly it should be reapplied no okay. matter the SPF okay yeah I always thought that the higher you went you know the more you know the um, yeah the more protection the more that protection, you're getting exactly but it's good to know that you know the sweet spot is between there and then a blogger question about um, applying, you know, religiously, generously, frequently, all of those adverbs that are mm -hmm. just, um, you know, describe how we should how we should get along with our SPF product. And again, it's really about finding the product that feels amazing on the skin. And um, I know, you know, particularly like, like with our hand cream, and it's smaller, one ounce size that's oh, nice for your purse. Awesome. But particularly with the hand cream, um, it feels so good on really do want to apply it right. and that's yeah. the key with all of the different parts of your skin and finding that product that feels amazing on the skin so that you will apply it frequently and generously. Yeah, I've applied it twice since we've been sitting here. I'm it's obsessed. Nice. I have to buy like the one ounce and that size and, it and everything. it smells amazing it does and they're smell. all oils. It's, it's really, now you're going to, I got to do it too. Yeah, yeah, it feels so good. It doesn't look greasiness on your hands, you know, how the, I get that sometimes. I hate that. Yeah. Um, let's go back. Let's see what else we got on Twitter. Okay, and then we have at the core. What's the best is instead of a foundation? Well, I guess we have the super the CC cream. You know, I love the CC creams because um, they're lightweight and they don't weigh the skin foundations often do and you know sunscreens just come a long way it's not it's not it's not what we when I say we it's not what I had or my mother had when I was a young girl um, I'm not you know quite in my 30s anymore so um, I think that it's important to note that you know you really you can go with products that give you that same evening out of your skin tone mm -hmm. Which is what we're all looking for is just a more flawless, beautiful right, face exactly. using as little product as we have to. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's see what else. Oh, we got a lot coming in here. We got at T Hot Fan. Let's see. I keep sunblock in my car just in case. Will extreme heat ruin the active ingredient in it? That's a great question. That is a good question. Efficacy should not be compromised, but it might not be as pleasant to put on might get kind of warm um, and it will also thin out the formula a little bit so you have to be really careful about applying it very generously. And the same goes for like putting it in the fridge. I've heard people do that to like, you know, it feels good to put on but yeah. does that do anything to the formula? You know, I, I, people say this and this is why I love our eye cream so much. It has this nice little um, tip on it that. and it's a self-cooling patented tip that makes, that immediately depuffs the eye area but it's cold and mm -hmm. I think that's why people like to put their eye creams in the fridge in particular because it feels good around mm -hmm. the eye area and the coldness really does depuff the eye area in the mornings and just sort of makes you feel alive so you really don't have to do that with our eye cream because you have this always cold little tip that's going to be um, that's going to make application really nice great, great. Um, and I think you know reapplying is something also do we have our mist here because our this is also one that's really nice to keep um, in oh, your yeah. car because it's not an aerosol product. Um, so often sunscreen sprays look like this, you would think are aerosol. Um, and in fact, we recently we cut a can open to show the inside of this. And it's a bag, an airless bag inside of the can that protects the formula and makes sure that nothing but air is propelling the formula the can and onto your skin. So when you're on the go and you're driving around and you know you need something fast to reapply, mm -hmm. it's really nice. Um, this is a really great option. 
and the vitamin C leaves your skin looking gorgeous. It's it's one of my favorite summertime products. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And a 50 SPF, oh, okay, so you great. can pick either one. Awesome. Um, I have another question. So um, where would you say is the, the one place you forget to apply sunscreen and is the most important? The eye area, you know, it's the very first place we start to see signs of aging, and uh, it, you know, you start to see the fine lines and the wrinkles and the loss of elasticity, um, puffiness. Mm -hmm. These signs of aging first happen around the eye area, and yet, very few eye creams on the market have a high broad spectrum protection to protect from the very thing that's causing the aging in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I think this is one spot that. Um, is often overlooked and 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 I think so overlooked is your you know most people are very concerned about burning and itching and watery eyes mm -hmm. and so they purposefully do not put on the lid or on this entire 360 degree area because the eye mm -hmm. that is going to later you know water all day or, or burn mm -hmm. um, and you know with our eye cream we went through the ophthalmologist testing and so it's very safe for even contact lens wearers and it lasts forever a little goes a very long mm -hmm. um, I know several people in our office also use it as sort of a pick-me-up later in the afternoon oh, and, uh, and I keep one handy when I'm flying because I feel like you know I need something to sort of illuminate the eye area mm -hmm. And it makes for a really nice um, way to sort of lift your day up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I have had trouble finding eye creams for a while, and then I tried the Super Goop, and it didn't burn my eye, didn't get a reaction, my eyes weren't watering or anything like that. So That's I great. love it. Okay, let's see what else we got on Twitter. We have at Mag's Thought Thoughts. Excuse me. Um, is the City Sunscreen as a daily moisturizer? Also, is daily toner necessary? If you love, to, people either love toners or they don't like them. So after you finish washing your face, I mean, I'm I'm a toner fan. So I apply my toner um, to sort of pH of my skin, and then I go right to the City Sunscreen Serum, which gives me plenty of hydration. I think when you start to need to layer on another level of hydration, it's usually in just very dry skin. Um, or when you start to get into, you know, your 30s, 40s, 50s, and you start to see that we've lost moisture and natural mm -hmm. hydration in our skin. But it really works um, standalone. Was, was that, did that answer the question? Yeah, I believe so. It works beautifully under your makeup or even on the weekends, on days that you know you're mm -hmm. not going to apply um, makeup or you might be just running errands and that kind of thing. It's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Okay, let's Lots of great questions. I know. A lot of great questions. They're really flooding in. I hope everyone's using their codes still. And don't forget, they're good until midnight. And again, the code is supergoop15. OK. Oh, what to use for acne-prone skin? You know, yeah, um, that question yet. yeah, so I think that often prone skin the mineral protection can sort of exasperate or clog the pores. Um, so I really feel like um, for acne prone for your body, the mist is the perfect product because okay. it's iced and alcohol can be drying and sort of not um, lead to more breakouts. Um, but I think the everyday formula or the city sunscreen serum, depending on your activity, would work really nicely. Um, we in fact have um, a little trio and the everyday sunscreen is one of them that we often recommend for anyone with acne skin. Oh, okay. So, and you'll, you, it says it's a lotion. It's really a very liquid, very lightweight. It's almost like a milky consistency. So it, it's not at all clog your pores or cause an additional breakout if you're having trouble with your skin. Great. All right, looks like we have just about like left. Let's get in some more questions. Um, what about like redness? Is that so? Is redness is called caused by inflammation. Okay. So when your skin is inflamed, you see the redness or the sometimes um, you know just not real even skin tone. So mm -hmm. you want to do a couple things. You want to correct it immediately so that you don't have glowing cheeks, mm -hmm. and is absolutely going to tackle that um, and leave a more flawless finish. 
but then what you want to really focus on is looking for products with antioxidants that are okay. going to reduce the inflammation that's causing that in the first place. Often too, I think you hear people that um, have had red wine the night before mm -hmm. or your diet can definitely contribute to um, having that r increased redness or flush look on the skin. So kind of try to make note also of what you had for dinner the night before. If you notice your face is a little bit more rosy than you prefer it to mm -hmm. be and kind of think back about your diet and what, what you've possibly eaten that might have a more inflammation and then you just want to do all that you can to soothe it down and reduce that inflammation and you'll have your, you know, your skin should return to its normal self. Mm -hmm. My cheeks. Yep. That's where, I, like, in the morning, or sometimes if I use a really strong toner, it will it will um, give me a little bit of redness. But I'm gonna definitely take those tips as well. All right. Let's see. We got. Oh, what about the men? The men. With the men. Hairy legs. <laughs> hairy legs and arms. What's the best tips for getting SPF to penetrate? You know, our, our products absorb right into the skin, as most sun protection products do these days. Um, again, we've come a long way in the lab. Um, and I think that men with hairy arms and legs do not, they want to stay away from mineral products, which are those with titanium and zinc. Um, they tend to, you know, be really hard to rub in, and the hair, it just, it, I've talked often with, um, with men about this for the face. Men love and are some of our biggest advocates sunscreen serum okay. because men are really picky. They're actually much pickier than women about sunscreen because they're used to wearing nothing on their face. They don't think that they should have to put anything on their skin. Women are all used to, mm -hmm. you know, a thousand things. So the City Sunscreen Serum for men's face is is really lovely and we get lots of lots of great feedback on that. Um, the everyday formula, again, this is the most everyone, everywhere you know, kind of most versatile, very affordable. Um, it's the product that absorbs so quickly into the skin. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leave you with a greasy feeling. Not at all. It's, you know, it's really nice. So I think, um, you know, particularly on the days when, the, you know, you might be out riding bikes or, or kind of act activity that you'd need the water resistance from. Mm -hmm. All right. We have an answer for our men. Okay. Let's take one more. Um, let me scroll through here. Okay. I think we've talked about how CC cream is better than BB cream. Um, yep, it's all about the antioxidants. Yeah. Well, did I, I did I ask you what your favorite product? I, I, it's or a your common. I'm loving the hand cream. I could, you know, I get in my car and I take a few pumps and I put it all over. I just, it's so luxurious and it makes your skin feel so hydrated and and looks immediately more youthful. I just, the hand cream is one I'm really, really trending on right now. It's, um, it, yeah, it's done. We got someone flagging a question. <laughs> Questions Larry coming from fifty. Do you get 80? <laughs> is that the question? No, <laughs> you don't. And and it is also a misconception that you can layer your SPFs. You'll get the protection from the higher SPF that's in place. Um, why I like layering SPFs, which is actually a better question, is it gives you just that added little bit of protection in case you missed a spot. Um, you know, you're Assuming you start your day with, say, our City Serum mm -hmm. and you apply it to the whole face, neck, and decollete all mm -hmm. the way up, and then you come back behind it with the sea cream and you use your beauty blender and you, you dab and you start evening out areas mm -hmm. that have redness that you've seen, mm -hmm. um, maybe because you had too much wine the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yes, yeah, so um, then, you know, if we use the CC cream, we're getting that added benefit of just having a little boost in the SPF protection. You're not able to add the two SPFs, but um, are covering the skin um, in a more generous way. Okay, great. Well, I think we'll end it here. Holly, thank you so much for being I here with it. us today. This was fabulous me. and so fun. I have so much more about SPF than I had known before. Um, and everybody, don't forget to use the code. It's good till midnight tonight, Supergoop15, for 15% off any of the Supergoop items on Birchbox Talk. And also, don't forget.
Sun Saving with your awesome pictures of the beach. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye.